One Piece anime episode 732 review. Now, this episode of the One Piece anime, like every episode, had a long act recap. Now, because I don't normally review them, I will talk about it. The recap was way too long. It took three minutes just to get through the opening and that little opening sequence explaining what the series is about. And then it took like another minute of recap. So that was annoying. But after the recap, we got a lot of filler. Like, it was just a lot of people just pushing back the birdcage. A lot of it. Uh, maybe like five minutes of that. Then we got Gas and Beast. Well, the Beast that Gas gave was great. Much better than the anime it is in the manga. Mostly because the anime we have voice acting and music to make the speech more epic. But also just because it just looks better with the movement of the characters and all of that. But I will say there were a couple of still shots that weren't very good. There were a lot of scenes that were just gas. There was just one scene that lasted like 20 seconds of gas just standing on that cliff looking over Drift Rosa. And I'm just sitting there shaking my head like, guys, it's like a 20 second scene. It could be like five. What the hell? It was ridiculous. And the episode is really what you would expect from this from the adaptation of this manga chapter. So Gas hypes up Luffy, gets his beat. There's a lot of chanting for a Lucy's name, like Lucy, Lucy. And I will say, when Rebecca was going to kill, uh, was going to, you know, land that blow and kill Viola or Violet, honestly, it was really good. Then they ruined it. Because they felt the need to zoom in on her boobs. On like an angle where you couldn't really see her face. And because you couldn't see her face, you didn't get really a feel for any emotion there. You're just kind of like, oh look, Rebecca Tiff. Nice. And I'm just sitting here thinking, are you, are you kidding me, Toei? Like, that was terrible. It was like, you had a great scene, and, you, and, and, then you, and instead of focusing on the scene, you focus on Rebecca boobs. And that ruined the thing for me. It ruined it. It took away all tension. I was, I saw the booth and I was like, "Are you kidding me? I want to see. I want to see a look of, like, sorrow on this girl's face. Because she's about to kill a member of her own family by having someone else control her. That person being Del Flamingo. That could have been done so well, but it wasn't. Now, of course, there were a couple of well animated shots, like when Luffy shows up at that last second when Law squishes him out with Jumble, like he squishes Vi Viola or Violet and Luffy plays it, and Luffy shows up. And Rebecca hits his head, but he covered it with armament hockey, and he looks at Doflamingo. It's amazing, especially that face Doflamingo makes when he looks at Luffy. It was beautiful. However, I do feel the cliffhanger was a little unnecessary, the cliffhanger they left up with. They could have maybe... I thought a better cliffhanger would have been in the manga. He, he had the point where he goes into gear... You know the trailer from this, so I'm not, like, spoiling anything. He goes into gear 4, like, a page after he shows up. I feel like that would have been a better cliffhanger, because this cliffhanger is kind of bad, honestly. It's just him looking at it, or maybe something like him being like, fourth gear, or something to get people hyped, but no, it's just him looking pissed off at Doflamingo, which he's done countless times throughout the arc. Also, what I want to talk about is the fact that there is no episode next week, which is kind of annoying, because I actually want to see Luffy King Kong Gun, which I expect to be even better than Gear 4, that had been built up for years. But yeah, I mean, whatever. It's probably not going to be, but you guys are seeing my point. The content in the episode was good. It, it covered uh, it covered one manga chapter. Could have been better, but whatever. The speech, as I said earlier, was improved upon. Uh, there were a couple shots with uh, the Coliseum Fire that I liked. Like, I don't remember if it was in the manga, but there was a scene with Bartolomeo giving this speech about that he's like, pushed with all their might, and it will be like, this is like the biggest battle they'll probably ever be in. And I'm like, you know, this is good stuff, good content. I enjoyed the episode. I'll admit, I enjoyed it. I'll never enjoy the ending episode tremendous as much as the manga because of the like five minutes of recap. By the time after like five minutes, I'm kind of already a little annoyed. So that took away from it. If I had to rate it, I'd give it maybe a seven out of ten. Which I don't think that you know, no, an eight out of ten. Not too bad. Not too, it, it's good, but that like five six minute recap really killed the episode. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out. Chapter review will be up later today or tomorrow. Uh, there is most likely not going to be a live reaction. So yeah, have a great day.